Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to see how to make uh, money with Crypto Hopper. I'm going to show you how in about 20 to 30 minutes, you can immediately start making some money. I'm only using Crypto Hopper signals. I do not use the uh, strategies like uh, Bollinger Band, RSI, EMA Cross, and Storage. All I'm doing is I set up Crypto Hopper, use signals, pick the right coins and it's making profits. So I've been testing this bot in addition to the other bots that I have and I'm really pleased with the results. It's going very well as you can see. Uh, here's the uh, latest five sales and here is what is on the open positions. And at the top you have our stats. Um, so 4.46 this is really good um, I'm pleased with that I'm not sure if this is correct uh, I think there may be an issue with my start balance when you first start crypto hopper uh, click edit on here and you have to put your start balance manually which um, that I can change later uh, but this is automatically calculated so this is good we've been rising steadily uh, so in the past two weeks, the sales have been, um, I'm pleased with the sales so far. Now let's go in and check a bigger trade history and see the sales. So you can see the bot has been doing fairly well. My settings are conservative. I'm aiming for maybe 1%, 2%. You can make it more aggressive to where you can have up to three to five percent and I'll show you how in a minute but with my current settings I just wanted something that's conservative that I can turn the bot on uh, turn the signals on and not have to monitor the bot every time and so as you can see I have some pretty decent sales and I also I'm using a stop loss so there should be one stop loss there so you don't have to use stop loss but for me, I'm using a stop loss of, I think it's negative 2.75. I'll show you how to remove the stop loss if you don't want to use stop loss and you just want to use DCA. So, so far the sales are going well. I have to say I'm pleased and the numbers are looking really well, although they're a bit conservative. Uh, you, can, you can make some steady income with this bot. So let me show you how to set it up. Let's go back to the dashboard. Now the first thing you're going to have to do if you haven't already is you're going to have to subscribe to Crypto Hopper. And let me show you the one I subscribed to is the middle one, the hair. So if you want to subscribe, go to the bottom of this video and click on the link. It will bring you to this page. They have three uh, packages. Now the reason why the first package will not work with my strategy is because of two things. One is because if you're using the free trial, they only give you a maximum of five coins and you need at least 50 coins for the signals to, to work because they, the signals can send a signal on any one of the 50 coins. The more coins, the better. So 15 selected coins is just too small for my strategy. I tried it and it would take maybe one full day and have one signal. So that's why I upgraded to the hair. Another reason why the bunny won't work well is because of this right here. The buying with the 10 minute intervals is too slow. So at, you need at least buying with five minute intervals. If you can afford it and you want to get the third package, um, that's even better because it's two minute intervals, which is very good and outstanding and you also have a lot more coins so you don't have to worry about the coin limit and it also has arbitrage which is something that I will go into detail on in the next video so just in summary I picked the hair you can subscribe to the free one and maybe just see how all the controls work the way I'm making uh, my crypto hopper here on this video is the hair so you can use the spreadsheet and add the uh, 50 coins that I have Okay, let's go back to the dashboard. Once you get your Crypto Hopper subscription going, uh, you need to go into the configuration. We're gonna just follow the following steps. You'll see your API key and your secret at the top. 
The next step is to make sure the bot is not live and then we're going to turn it on at the end. And then the next step is to go into, this is the important step, to add the coins. There is a link to a spreadsheet that has all these coins that I'm using. So the next thing you want to do is add the coins from this side. You're going to go from this side and add them to the other side. Uh, and then you're going to need to go all the way to 50 coins um, in this side. So how do you do that easily? Let me remove a few coins from here. I'll remove three, Storm, ONT, and NCASH. See, so it says select coins 47. So let's add those other coins. Instead of going through the whole list to find the coin from the spreadsheet, type it in here. And then just click on it and it will be added down here. You see 48. And then let's add Storm. Click on it and it's added this way. 49. And then one more. I think it was ONT. Click on it and it adds and it tells you the maximum has reached for 50 because I'm with the hair package. Now if you're in the free package, you can only add five coins. So that is not going to work with this strategy. And if you have the bunny, you can only add 15 coins. And so the, the signals might be coming into Crypto Hopper, but if the coin is not in this list, then it will ignore the signal and not buy the signal. That's why you need at least uh, 30 to 50 coins in here to make the signals work uh, properly. So I have picked the, the coins that worked the best with my strategy and I put it on a spreadsheet so you can get the spreadsheet uh, at the link below. Next thing is we'll set up the rest of the strategies. By default you will see that the multiple TA factors is the strategy. So change that from multiple TA factors to no strategy, manual external signals only. And then my percentage profit is 10. This is the maximum. If it gets to 10%, then it doesn't matter. It won't trail anymore. I just buy it immediately. I just sell it immediately and take the 10% profit. Uh, next thing, you're going to change the user ticker rate to highest bid, lowest ask. My cooldown is turned off. And uh, you change your percentage lower bid to zero and percentage higher ask to zero. The default is 0 0.5, but I've turned mine to zero. Uh, my stop loss, you can have it on, and I have usually have my stop loss to 2.90%. And I'll tell you why when we get to the signals. But you can have your stop loss turned off and use DCA instead. My trailing stop loss is 0.3 and I arm my trailing stop loss at 0.7. Now, if you want to be more aggressive, um, you can increase your trailing stop loss to 0.5 or maybe even 0.65. And that will sometimes, that will give you more profits. But since mine was conservative and I was just aiming for 1%, 1.5 to 2%, I have it at 0.30. Um, only sell with profit is off and trailing stop buy is on with 0 0.4 and then uh, my DCA is on and the good thing about crypto hopper is the DCA is flexible where you can pick how many hours before you start to DCA so I give a coin at least 12 hours before I start looking for a DCA opportunity and I'll show you why on the signals most of the signals require at least 18 hours before they give you a really good profit. Um, so 12 to 18 hours. DCA max retries is one, DCA set percentage uh, trigger is four. And here are the rest of my settings. I only allow a maximum coins of uh, positions to be six. Uh, be conservative on this. You don't want to stretch yourself out too much. If one sells, the new one will come in. And my uh, open time sell and open time buy is five and five. And here's the rest of the settings on the general page. And just save at the bottom. 
The next thing you want to set up is your signals. So go into signals. I have these are the three signals that I'm using: crypto quality signals, crypto grower, and crypto gnome signals. Now the main one I'm using is crypto grower in the middle. Load all three signals and pick two. Pick crypto grower and one of these signals. First one and the last one are free, and the one in the middle is five dollars. You don't have to have three signals. I recommend two signals. Like right now, I have Crypto Grower and GNOME signals running, and I have paused quality signals. And sometimes I'll have uh, quality signals and Crypto Grower running, and I've paused Crypto GNOME. So let's go to the signals page and check out all the signals. Click on that. Here's the signals page. For Binance, there's a lot of signals. For Bittrex, there's a lot of signals as well. GDAX does not have as many signals. Um, so here's the signals on Binance. Uh, the ones I've selected that are working really well for me are crypto quality signals. It's free. Crypto Grower is $5 a month. And Crypto Gnome Signals, the free version. Uh, there's also crypto signals the pro for uh, five dollars and the good thing about crypto hopper is you don't have to pay an extra fee on trading view and get the trading view basic or the trading view pro account you can just come in here and pay the five dollars and get the gnome signals pro or get this is a really good free signal this has been uh, great okay so why did I pick these three signals? For example, first thing you're going to look at when you get here is the reports down here. Uh, don't just go by that big number. Uh, click on view report. And it will show you the stats for this uh, signal. For example, crypto quality signals. It will show you Binance. Uh, some Bitrex. It has a lot of Binance signals, which is good for me since I'm using Binance. And you can see the times when it sent the uh, most recent signals. And it also shows you the high and the low for that signal. So, for example, this signal here reached a high of 166 and a low of negative 176. Like this is really good at 7.11. Uh, some of them go low to about, you know, for example, this one had to go low to negative 1.26 before it could go high to uh, 2.04. And remember, I set up a stop loss at negative 2.75, and this is the reason why. So, for example, let's take this one. You can click on view and it'll tell you. Uh, at five minutes, it was this much. At 15 minutes it went to that at one hour it went to that so you have to wait until six hours to get the 7.11 and we click on this one same thing this one went all the way to 0 0.03 but at one hour it was only at 1.99 uh, by 12 hours it peaked at 5.93 so usually by the time it gets to one hour to three hours by the time it gets to about between two and three percent uh, my bot is set up to just take the sale and take the profit. Uh, you can increase your trailing to be more aggressive, but if you use my settings, they're a bit conservative. So that's how you check on the signals. Uh, one more thing, if the market crashes, if Bitcoin crashes, I'm going to show you how to set up a uh, trigger to turn off the bot when Bitcoin crashes. So let's start by adding a new trigger. Give it a name. Turn off when BTC crashes. And you can enable the trigger. Um, you select your market. Now with the selecting your market, since you want to monitor B BTC, I would say um to pick btc usdt because you want to monitor when btc rises suddenly or crashes suddenly 
So select BTC USDT. Um, 30 minute candle size is fine. And then you get to indicators. You want to select percent change and say if percent change is greater than if it changes greater than uh, 3% in a 30 minute candle size that is a really big change then we do the action is for the action you want to select set buying status so you want to set the buying status and disable the buying so what this means is that in Bitcoin USDT pair it doesn't matter if you're trading in Bitcoin and you're not trading in US, uh, USDT uh, what we want to do is we want to monitor the behavior of Bitcoin against a stable coin so if Bitcoin against the stable coin uh, USDT, if the percent change is 3%, meaning if Bitcoin jumps up by 3% or drops suddenly by 3%, then uh, our action is we're going to disable the buying status. So we're going to set buying status to disable and um, Put this cooldown period to 60 minutes which is one hour so if you're asleep you want the bot to go off if Bitcoin crashes and uh, maybe even add this to two hours or however many hours you want that way it doesn't come on while you're asleep and then save it and now you have the trigger so that's it we have set our bot to buy with signals and that's all you have to do i'm going to have the links to my settings at the bottom of the video uh, so it's just three main steps one register for crypto hopper of course if you register with the link below uh, you'll be able to get my settings uh, two Add the 50 coins from the spreadsheet that is provided that I have below. And three, add the signals that I have here. And you don't even have to add all three signals. You can pick two of them. And then after that, you go back to your dashboard. Turn on your bot. Make sure your hopper is enabled. Turn on the bot. Buying is enabled, selling is enabled. We're only using signals, we're not using TA strategies, and you will uh, start making a profit. So if you have any questions, just leave them at the bottom. What I need to show you on the next video is a few more features. Actually, maybe I can just show you a few more of the features that I like uh, before we go. Uh, for example, in Crypto Hopper, you can, Crypto Hopper can buy two separate times on one coin which I think is great because now you have control over this coin I can sell that separately from the other one or this was if this is a DCA then I can join this 0.95 with the point uh, with a 2.04 and get the average how do you do that um, you can join two coins, you just select them, go into bulk actions, and do merge positions, and click on yes, and the bot will merge the two coins. So now, uh, see that helped the coin that was almost at three negative 3%, if you joined it with the one that was only 0.9%, it's like a DCA, so it makes your, your loss a bit less. And then what if I wanted to DCA this coin? I can pick that and go into DCA and select uh, create a DCA order and it will DCA this coin here. And another thing I like is you can pick any coin. Let's pick the same coin and then you can split the coin 
and two maybe you want to only sell a portion so you can split it in half it has split positions and that splits the coin into two and then maybe you can sell one or DCA the other one another thing you can do is you can do a manual buy order if I want to manually DCA this coin and I want to buy I want to buy it and trade it I, you can go to the right select the coin BLC And then at the bottom, select the amount of Bitcoins. And then click on Place Buy Order. Oops, I don't have enough funds at this time. But once you do that, you'll have uh, another entry here that has been manually bought. So I really like the flexibility of this bot as far as splitting the coins, joining them together, uh, selecting a coin manually DCAing when when you think you need to DCA and uh, you can also hold the position of the coin so that it doesn't sell it um, if you if you want to hodl a coin you can do that and you can unhodl it so there's a lot you can do with this uh, panel but what I really wanted to show is just to set up your crypto hopper put your settings uh, add the coins add the signals and turn it on enable enable uh, buy and enable sell and um, then start making profits within 30 minutes or so so if you have any comments uh, leave them at the bottom in the next video I think I'll go into more details about all these cool features that it has but really what I wanted to do with this bot is just set the signals turn it on and leave the bot alone to make the profits for me all right that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next video